In this problem, we have a block of mass 4 kilos rests on a rough slope inclined at an angle of theta degrees. The coefficient of friction between the block and the slope is 0.3. At what angle will the block start to slide down the slope? OK, so let's draw a diagram. So here's my slope. Here's my angle of theta degrees. Here is my block. And it will have a weight of 4 times g. And I will complete that triangle. That angle is also going to be theta. This opposite side will be 4g sine theta. And this will be 4g cosine theta. Now it's in contact with the surface, so there'll be a normal reaction force. Now it rests on a rough slope. Uh, so it's trying to slide down the slope. So that means that there will be a frictional force working against the direction of motion um, well, parallel to the plane. OK, so this is my situation. Now, because it's on the point of sliding down the slope, uh, we know that F is going to be equal to mu R. OK, so that's the first thing to take account of. So let's resolve forces. I'm going to resolve vertic sorry, uh, perpendicular to the plane first. So in that direction, taking that way as positive. So I would have R take away the 4G cosine theta is equal to 0. Because it's not accelerating in that direction. So that means that R is 4g cosine theta. OK, now I know that mu is 0 0.3, so this allows me to now work out the friction. So therefore, the friction will be equal to 0 0.3 times by 4g cosine theta, which is 1.2g cosine theta. So that's my friction. OK, now, um, if the block isn't moving, uh, then that means the forces down the slope must counteract the forces going up the slope. So I'm going to resolve this time. Uh, now, I could take upwards as positive, or I could take downwards as positive. I'll take downwards as positive, I think, because that seems the more natural direction. That's the direction that the block is trying to go. So that would be 4g sine theta. Take away the friction, which is 1.2g cosine theta, must be equal to 0. Now, we could divide through by g here. Uh, in fact, we could divide through by g cosine theta. Because if we do that, then if I divide this by g cosine theta, the g's will cancel, and I'll have sine theta over cosine theta, which is tan theta. So I'll have 4 tan theta. And here, if I divide this by g cosine theta, I'm just going to be left with 1.2. So tan theta must be equal to 1.2 divided by 4, which is 0.3. So the inverse tan of 0 0.3 is 16.69924423 degrees. So 16.7 degrees to three significant figures. So if um, we raise the slope up, uh, the point where it goes over 16.7 degrees, uh, the block uh, will start to slip down the slope.